What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi, and today we are going to talk about Record Buster. Now, this is a Finn Record Buster, so you have to prepare accordingly. Um, obviously, Earth type is going to kind of be your preference, though to be fair, uh, there are certain situations around that which are going to be a little inhibitive. Uh, in other words, I really feel like the single target Earth really... Otaro is going to kind of be your best bet. That's why I've got the 20% strength attack damage on him. Uh, and you want to use physical units on this one for various reasons we'll get into during the video. But the one thing you do want to be prepared for when you come in here, unlike most events where you want to kind of use like, you know, whatever anti ailment effect you've got, you want to use thunder coats on this. And I've spent the good portion of this morning making sure I had enough thunder coats, make sure they were all uh, max level. I haven't ascended any of them because I don't think it's really necessary yet but they're all max level they're all ready to go so we're gonna jump in here this should be a very familiar team it's not honestly that much different than the record buster teams i've used before so we're gonna see how this team holds up now obviously i am kind of working on a potential light team to take this on but neither here nor there i really feel like if you don't have any of the newer units yes i think even though alfie and zard are are aoe feel like with everything they do with everything light has they might actually be top dog for this i don't know though i've got to try them out nonetheless we're going to jump in here we're going to do our 33 percent sa gauge charge do our attack buffs and just kind of move on now you want to be very very defensively minded in this uh by the time finn buffs himself to be fair, he buffs you too but by the time he buffs himself you are going to be hurting very very badly so you want to make sure that you are going as defensively as possible because of that i'm using gareth who does uh, single and all target 35 percent uh there are other units in the game that you can do with this with i think we got actually one recently but i don't remember who it is off the top of my head so i'm just going with the with the old uh old reliable so to speak all right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go do our normal buff now really fun here uh, with this attack with Otaro, it does physical and earth resist down 35% and guard rate down 50%, which will help everybody. Uh, as is, earth is down 100%. So we're really just going to tank that that earth skill. So if you have more earth single target units, they probably will do really good here. Uh, just in my opinion, I'm going to go with the units that I know do really well to begin with, and then I'll start honing the team from there. So if you want to do more of this, we'll be doing this on live stream over the weekend of really honing this team. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just jump in with our debuffs on this turn. Notice he's already taken a big chunk out of our health. We need Haruhime to do that, uh, to do her uh, defensive buff. But on this turn, I think more importantly, see everything's about to fall off. We want to go ahead and do Yosuga on this turn. We want to make sure we get an extra turn out here where we can just produce basically damage but also replicate the buffs and debuffs we've been put, uh, throwing out there for the past two turns so this turn is really important now he is going to come out of the gate with an aoe attack but i feel like it is survivable and i really feel like it's going to be a best case scenario to go ahead well actually he buffs i take the back it is not going to be because he's going to remove those those buffs we're going to do Akane in this turn. Because when he buffs his strength, see. So, yeah, see, strength is up 150. Everyone should get that buff. So, it's kind of pointless to do Haruhime's buff. See, I got stuck in that old loop there. So, see. So, yeah, everyone gets a strength up 150. So, we don't actually need to use Haruhime in that respect. What we're going to do is we're going to debuff with Haruhime. Because if we don't, well, we're going to hate life. So, let's go ahead and do our big hits on this turn. I'm going to save my... I'm going to save my uh, special attacks, and I'm going to do a multi-special here in a few minutes. But for now, we're just going to come out of the gate with all this stuff. Boom. Nice. Now, here's this AoE. And this is why you really need to pay attention to defenses. Because even though this is the first AoE, this one is not going to feel good. We have debuff 40%, so that is pretty nice. But, let's see. Okay, okay, actually, no, that wasn't so painful. Now, on this turn, I'm going to go ahead and do Kamel. Now, he's removed everything. Like, every buff, every debuff, everything is gone. 
That's why you need to make sure you hit really hard on that on that turn. If you don't, life sucks. So turns four, eight, and twelve, he nullifies the field. You're back to basics. You got a buff. You got a debuff. You got to do all that stuff. In the case of Katori here, well, let's see. That's two nineteen. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do her buff on this turn. I'm gonna go ahead and buff everybody up again. And we're gonna have to re-debuff with Haruhime. But I take it back. I think I'm gonna do Shika on this turn. Hmm. So that's gonna get us a little bit of extra penetration rate out. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Normally I do Akane on this turn. I think I'm going to risk it. Do our buffs and do that. Generally don't. Generally I go the other way around, but I'm gonna try something weird this time. Just because I am weird. Now we do want to do Akane because we want to make sure that basically everyone survives. I'm gonna have to do Providence with uh, Katori because she's really low in MP here. Um, not crazy low, but low enough that if I did a, a major attack, I would not like the effects of it. It's basically gonna drain everything we got. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. The counter rate is coming in handy. That's why I stand by doing that counter rate before doing the debuff. Now, on this turn, we're going to go ahead and do Yosuga. All right. And we're going to go back to doing our big attacks. And remember, with Otaro, he basically has two turns left on Mountain Drill. So that actually will be, I say, nullified. You'll lose the extra action by doing a, an SA. But that does mean by doing the SA, that doesn't get nullified. That actually will stay in play on the, the following turn. So we're goalless next turn to do a double SA. And we'll see where that goes, where that takes us. So on this turn, let's go ahead and do what we do. Would be really nice if we get a triple here, but I don't think it's going to be possible. All right, so turn eight, I'm going to go ahead and do a double SA with Katori. And with uh, Otaro. Now, we do not want to do that with, uh, yeah, with Anya here, because Anya's going to remove our strength uh, and magic buffs. If you do not remove the strength and the magic buff on, tur on turns 4, 8, and 12, you could just kiss it. You're done. Sorry, that's life. That's just where we stand with this record buster. Uh, he, go he went ahead and buffed his strength and magic again. That's a 150% buff, so if you don't remove that... You're in a world of hurt. Now, he does buff. In this version, he buffs his Thunder uh, statistics. So, if you can remove that, great. I don't think that's as important to remove. It would help survivability, but it's not the end of the world. So, when it comes to this run, I think this is a good spot here. And remember, the uh, assists that I have here don't actually debuff uh, Earth. The only assist that actually debuffs Earth only does it 5%, 10 if she's maxed, and mine's not maxed. So it wasn't that important to debuff Earth. So Katori and Anya really are the ones that are massively debuffed on the assist side. So they're going to do pretty decent damage. But remember, Otaro still is down 35%, and Physical is down 15%. So you do an essay with him each and every time, if at all possible. But the choice between Katori and, uh, and Anya... Anya is removing the strength and magic buffs, so we need both of those gone. You gotta have them both gone this turn, and, well, like I said before, if you don't, it sucks. But let's go ahead, Yosuga, and let's go. Remember, all your buffs, unlike previous uh, with uh, with Revis, everything's gone this turn. Basically, when Finn comes down, he nukes the field. Okay, that was 1.4, that wasn't bad. What's Otaro got? All right, let's see. I know what he did in, in uh, Record Buster, but he was also a dragon killer, so hopefully we'll get close to two mil out of him. Come on. Okay, yeah, right at two mil. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like seeing that. And I didn't realize that they had a combo. I completely forgot about that, so... We need a little bit more damage. I don't think it's going to break 150, uh, 150k, but we'll see. 173. Okay, I'll take that. I'll 100% take that. So pretty pretty decent hits. Now, do you remember once again on this turn, everything's gone. Boom. Here he goes. 
This one probably isn't going to feel too good, but hopefully we hopefully we're able to tank this for less than 500. What you got? Okay, all right, did pretty good there. Got my wish pretty much. So in this turn, once again, I'm going to go and do Sheikah. I'm going to go ahead and do our buff stacks. And once again, like I was saying with Otaro, uh, the additional action for Mountain Drill, that doesn't get nullified. So we still have that in this turn. So you want to make sure in this turn that you're keeping that in play. There is actually some small benefit to doing a single attack with Otaro on turn four. I haven't worked out which one is better, this or that. It actually might be slightly more damage to do it that turn because then you get the double attack on turn five and both of those attacks are going to be you know 1.8 or so mil so in the end of the day you might get a little more damage out of that if your otaro is max limit broken like mine is but let's go ahead and continue on do bear in mind though you wouldn't have a double sa in turn eight if you did that it would be single sa and four single sa and eight i'd have to work out which one does more damage i've really got to sit down and do a little bit you know more testing and more maths in that regard but for now you know we get what we get so now we're back on our debuff stack and this is where we want to start paying attention to our mp i want to make sure that katori has enough mp that after turn 12 she's just going at it all right so he should be debuffed uh yes so in this turn we've got to go ahead and do yosuga we want to keep everything in play uh haruhime is going to have plenty of mp i'm going to go ahead and do providence on this turn because i want to make sure that Katori has enough MP after this because on turn 12 he's not actually going to remove his strength buff um, Anya is going to remove his strength buff but he's not going to remove the buffs on us so turns 12, 13, 14, and 15 I want to just consistently hit with my hardest it's possible so doing Providence early is going to be a big boon to that alright we're going to go ahead and do our actual hits with Anya and Otaro and the goal is probably do a triple SA I would think would be the next big step but let's see what happens here. All right. There's this buff. We got to do Yosuga. We're going to go ahead and do Kamel here to get the extra damage out. And the other two are just going to do their big hits. Let's go. Fingers crossed. Now, like I said, doing a double SA there probably wouldn't be beneficial. I really feel like doing a triple on uh, probably turn 14 would be beneficial. Again, I think getting five essays is pretty much the sweet spot on this one. Uh, I think there might be a way to get a sixth, but you'd be working really hard to do it. Uh, and I don't know if you're really lacking any benefit from that. Though, honestly, if you have other earth types rather than what I'm running, maybe so. But neither here nor there. We're going to go ahead and do a triple essay in turn 14. So I'm going to go ahead and keep hammering down with these hard hits. Notice... Everything pretty much stays in play here. The fun part, at least my opinion. Now, the one, one thing worth noting here is there is a benefit to doing Anya's SA. But if you do Anya's SA on turns 8, uh, sorry, 4, 8, or 12, you're not removing the strength of magic buff. So, that her being down 40%, that's kind of the reason that I'm waiting and trying to get a triple SA with her. Um... There might be some benefit to just doing SA after SA after SA with Otaro. But once again, I've got to do more testing and see what the numbers are. I don't even know what the numbers are going to be after this one. So, to be fair, this is kind of a test bed. But here we go. We're taking some big hits. We need the heals from Haruhime. That's going to be absolutely critical in survivability. Hmm, not enough. Not enough. I really hope that was going to be enough. All right. So the triple SA turn 15 is now the goal. Uh, that is unfortunate, but you know what? It's another turn where she can be doing big hits. Of course, to be fair, so is he. Boom. Boom. Now, worth noting here, the reason that we're building this up is because Strength and Magic are still up 150 for us. We removed it on him, so we're not too worried about it on him. I'm going to go ahead and do Akane in this turn, just because that's kind of her best attack even though it's not really you know she's not an attacking unit i'm gonna do that to get just the, the, the tiniest bit more damage out um once again he's zero percent for magic and minus ten percent for fire so it's not gonna be a big hit but it might be helpful 
And then we're just going to do a triple SA with everyone else. Boom. Let's see what happens here. Go. Only 1.4. I was hoping for a little more than that out of a triple, but that's okay. What's Otaro got? Otaro should hit really nicely. Love to see 2.5, but I don't think he's that strong yet. I think I've got to work on the team a little bit more to do that. Two point two five. There are two point two three. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, and Anya's gonna hit for. I'm gonna guess one point seven because she's gonna hit pretty good. She's a great hitter, by the way, just absolutely spectacular hitter. And she's in the general pool, so if you don't have this Anya, definitely should focus on her. One point six two. So not not terrible, but not terribly bad. A little bit of an RNG issue there, but. You know, we could we could definitely do better. This is this is definitely a workable team. A definitely workable team. Though I do feel there are better teams out there. Definitely very, very viable in the long run of the game. So I'm gonna keep farting around with these and see if I can produce bigger, better teams. Um, I haven't even looked at what the big dogs are using, but pretty substantial team. Okay. Not quite five hundred mil. Not quite five hundred mil. Um, if you want to see the score details, basically, total damage was, what is that, 27, yeah, times 750%, yeah, 27 million with a bonus score because we got to turn 15, which doubles that, it's like 50 million, and then the difficulty score bumps that up to almost, not quite, but almost 500 million, so that's not so bad. Uh, we're in the top 127. I'm not going to show off the big dogs numbers here. You can look it up for yourself on your side, but that's a viable option for you. Hopefully you have Otaro ML bead. Um, I'm going to keep working on this team because I feel like there's a lot more damage can be brought out here. I feel like I probably have the capability to produce maybe close to 600 million. So if you want to see the progression of this, definitely join us for the live streams tomorrow night and Sunday night. We're going to be working a lot on Record Buster and trying to improve those scores. But for now, that's going to be the video. Let me know what you guys thought. So I, I want to get these out earlier because I know Finn is very different than the rest of them. So I want to give you guys time to prepare. But for now... That's the video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section down below. Like, comment, share, and I'll catch you on the next one.